<laughs> you know, that's the problem with movies is that that can happen. So statistically, what the, what some of the people, someone we know is basically getting ready to do, is getting ready to make a three hundred million dollar movie. Not circumnavigating the rules. They're going to make a movie. They're going to make a movie. They're going to basically outdo Hugo with it. No, it is going to be, you think, go to see Hugo, we recommend. If you want to see something beautiful, go see Hugo. If you want to see great 3D, go see Hugo. You want to go see great IMAX, go see a Mission Impossible. You're going to see IMAX as IMAX was meant to be done. We're, this is, they're going to make a movie. Basically, it is going to be the most visually beautiful movie you're ever going to see in your life. Totally going to be brilliant. And there's people in the end here, and what the funny part about it is we people know... People are volunteering to work They're for volunteering free. to work for nothing to be in the movie because they know that the movie is going to be a lot of fun to work on. So, But they're defeating the purpose of the poor people's purpose of making the movie is not to make money, but to go... It is an Oscar-run movie. It is going to be the biggest budget Oscar-run movie ever made. And it's not making fun of the Oscars because the people who work on the Oscars, which we've also explained before, I've even written about it. I do write, you know, I've written about it. The Academy Awards are not given to people, to movies that the people necessarily it's, like. They're it's not given, a popularity contest. It's not a popularity contest. It is what the Academy members think in their minds is the best movie. Mm -hmm. So they're going to simply, I've got a lot of smart people who talk to a lot of smart people that know what critics love. And it is not, a, it is not this is not a love affair with the audience. This is going to be a love affair with the critics mm -hmm. and the Academy voters. It is going to be for them and them only and to hell with everyone else in the whole universe. It is for a select group of people. and. They do make movies for select groups of people in this country. I mean, I grew up in an era, I mean, I'm talking to a guy, a gentleman, uh, that is a, was a black cowboy. And he can remember, he said, I can remember when I was growing up, black men used to actually have more important parts in films than they do today. We had, an, we had our own film industry, and then it would, you know, it would come over into, you know, into the straight, with the white guys industry too, because they, no, he said, we were respected actors. Mm -hmm. They respected us. Today, they no longer respect us. Look, we got Sidney Poitier and Danzel Washington. We used to have, we used to have this, and we used to have this, we used to have this, we used to have this. And they basically would fight over getting, our, getting us in their movies. Mm -hmm. Today, they basically say, well, we got Poitier and we got Danzel Washington. Well, who else the hell we need? <laughs> and because, you know, I think the only thing Danzel Washington hasn't done is a Western. But Poitier was one great. I love yeah, Poitier was. Western. Like, that guy looked like he was a cowboy. But, um, you make movies. You make movies for regions. You recut. We got in trouble over talking about the fact that a movie was cut for the critics in Southern California. They cut it for different parts of the country. What you can show in in uh, in Mobile, Alabama, cannot be shown in Berkeley, California, mm -hmm. because they won't go see it. What you film for Berkeley can't be shown in Tuscaloosa, you know, Mississippi. It works that way because they're a different audience. You cut it differently for where you're going. The same with TV shows. When you, when you show a television, a motion picture, motion picture on television, they tend to cut it for the area it's in. Yeah, like all those times something aired on the East Coast and then they had problems with it. So it got cut out before it aired on the West Coast. That's right. Which is always the stuff you want to see because you wonder what did they really cut out. Yeah, and like I said, the, I, I think it's going to be exciting. We, we hope to give you, we hope that we're allowed to bring you a lot of what's going on in that film is we're, we're going to, we're actually, we get be in on the down floor, on the, on the bottom floor, isn't it? They call it bottom floor, I'm getting old. I don't get much sleep, you know. I actually, you know, I'm, I'm only 77 years old. Can you believe that? It's hard to believe that I got off old. But, um, um, but we get to be on the bottom, on the ground floor, I guess, ground floor of how this is being done. And we hope to be allowed to bring people, you know, uh, like interviews with actors are going to be in it. You know, the people are going to be making it, why they're involved with it, you know, maybe the backers of it. Something that is totally different than anyone has ever done in the history of reporting. Mm -hmm. Which is why we're sort of wound up. Anymore. She's in her Oscar outfit because of the fact it's going to be an Oscar-run movie. We've never been involved yeah. in anything big. And it's going to be, and for like I said, for the government people that might get pissed off, well, you're just, you know, you're doing this. 
you know, um, well, no, we're, you're doing it to make a movie. The people that are going, the people I understand are going to be involved, all want to make a damn good movie. Mm -hmm. You can make a good movie that no one wants to see. And that is the problem. It doesn't mean it's a bad movie. They're going to put their money into a great movie, but it's a movie that's going to be aimed for a select audience, which is done every day of the year. It just is going to be the first time. That, and they're not going to hide the fact that they're aiming it is an Oscar-run movie. It doesn't mean they'll get a nomination, but they're going to give it... I mean, you're talking a whole bunch of people right now that want to be involved in this project. Because they understand... Uh, what it's about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, and um, and you may even get, you know, we may even talk to tax people about the whole thing, like the IRS, and the IRS can't have anything wrong with it, because if you're making a movie and you're throwing the bank at it to make it the best movie, it will make, it could, like I said, it could be a better looking movie than Hugo. That's what they hope to do. It's going to be in 3D and IMAX. But it's got to be controversial. Controversial topics almost always get... In, the public does not like controversy. Mm -hmm. But critics love controversy. And it's not meant to... It's not meant to disservice... I understand? It's not meant to disservice the critics. It's meant for the critics to lay in and just... You know, if they like it, tell everybody they like it. If they don't like it, tell people what the hell is wrong with it. Simply, it's a movie that is meant to be laid into by the people that either love it or hate it. They need to go out there and kick ass. If they don't like it, kick butt. So that the people will know this is one god awful big. Okay, what makes it finish off? Hugo was a love affair for, with George Melies by yeah. Martin Scorsese. This is going to be by people that have never ever had a. Well, let me put it. There's no. They've never had the chance to do anything that was really important and impressive. This will be. Maybe the first time in a lifetime that a lot of people, backers, have never had a chance to do it, and maybe the producer, director, have worked on things that were important but never got anywhere. This is meant to be impressive, and like I said, it will be a love it or hate it. But unfortunately, because of the nature of the content, you're more than likely going to hate it. It'd be something that Bill O'Reilly would totally find offense in, that the Christian right would totally hate, that the Tea Party will. Well, God, you people spent too much money. You could have done it cheaper. Well, that's right. But you cannot do great things on little budgets. You can do little things on a great budget, but you cannot do a great thing on a little budget. It can't be done. Only Hollywood can turn out certain forms of movies. And, um, I mean, uh, Lawrence of Arabia, it couldn't be done today because Lawrence of Arabia would not be a popular movie today. They would not put the money into it. Uh, Dr. Zhivago would not be done today because there'd be no chance. I mean, Titanic would not be done today. Well, think about even movies like Cleopatra. Yeah. And it would, which is, I mean, everybody knows about Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra, but even that movie, would they make that today? No, they couldn't make it today because it wouldn't, um, the audience is not there for it. I mean, mm -hmm. you do not have, um, you don't have Peter, young Peter O'Toole. You don't have young, um, you don't have young, uh, Richard Burns, you don't have young um, Elizabeth Taylors, you don't have young Omar Sharifs, you, or young Julie Christie's, you don't have these people when they were young, and there are no one, you don't have young Paul Newman's, you have not, you have good actors, but they are not those people, mm -hmm. and those movies can never be done again, they might try, but they can't, actually they tried Dr. Zhivago as a miniseries, it didn't work. Oh, they did? Yeah, it did not work, because it gets a matter, you know, it's like you gotta have, um, a really great thing starts at here and works its way all the bottom. We're talking there are no holes in the process. Everyone involved is basically peaking at that moment. And they may only be like uh, like Dr. Zhivago, was it, um, Omar Sharif and Julie Christie were in their 20s. Oh, really? Great looking at the I mean, power performers. Um, and, you know, all these things. Uh, you, could, you, know, you wouldn't see a sting gun today because, with them. Um, Robert Redford and Paul Newman, mm -hmm. because there's no Robert Redford and Paul Newmans. So, this will be, this is a production that we do know that the production people are actually fighting to get involved with. And, you know, and, um, you know, we're, we, we're not doing a commercial because we're not even telling you the name of it. We're not telling you who's producing it. If you want to know about it, go find out about it. This is what 
the news business for you. Want to find out information? Go hunt for well, it. Well, part of it is is that films are made for all different reasons. Yeah. And, and so it, the next time you're sitting there scratching your head, going, "What the hell is my? Like, what the <laughs> hell is this thing up there for?" Yeah. Remember, they're made. They're, here's it. The, they're made to make money. They're paid to do what? Lose money. And they're made to to win awards. Yes. And you can basically you can call, you can basically add any two together. You can you know I can make money and win awards. That doesn't happen, generally. It's so loud. But you can you know but losing money and making awards they go they, they go hand in hand. hand in hand, totally hand in hand. You generally do not find movies that make money that are commercially popular that win awards, mm -hmm. because to be commercially popular you have to not walk on anybody's toes. Um, uh, another thing, um, um, you know, things like that. Movies that people love to see because they identified at that time. You don't identify. I mean, they don't. You're not going to see a movie about the Tea Party. You're not going to see it. You are movie, seeing movies about Occupy Wall Street. Mm -hmm. It's going to have major actors in, but nobody's going to come see it mm -hmm. because the 99% they supposedly represent don't like what they're representing. Yeah. So therefore, it's a movie that's going to cost a lot of money to make that is never going to make any profit but is being made so that they can make a social statement and also get a award and an award. So, but we're, going to, we're going to try to keep you up on this though. So until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring check. We'll be yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to uh, www.montybubbles.net on the net. Our NBN News. <laughs>